Well, hello, my friends. We meet this evening, not not regarding a specific radio, but more more specifically a uh, a power supply, and and this is a B battery illuminator. Now these came out around 1926 time frame. They started coming on the scene, and uh, this one I think was a really neat design. Has a nice layout. Um, the power transformer sits here. Here's your two main filter chokes, one on each side of the rectifier tube. Here's your main filter capacitors. Um, here's your voltage divider. It goes between a wire-round voltage divider between all the output taps. Each of the voltages has their own separate bypass cap. So it is a clean, well-designed, as far as layout goes, power supply it really really is a nice unit but uh i uh oh on a side note i did actually go through and i restuffed all these caps here as well as the bypass caps here and uh because they are all exposed i felt it was uh needed to be restuffed and that was where i guess if i had to throw a negative when i use the word exposed if you notice every voltage on here is just that exposed here's your 115 volts coming in right here when <laughs> it's uh easy to touch these terminals and touch and contact line voltage here's all the secondaries to your main power transformer including the high voltage going to your plates of your rectifier and every single connection is a bus bar or terminal screw everything is exposed so it certainly wouldn't pass muster by today's standards, but back then, eh, you know, I think in sometimes in all reality, I think society had a little more common sense back then than we do today, sadly. But uh, anyway, a neat supply works well, and it's uh, Dave's favorite B eliminator. Hope you found it of interest, and you know I would be amiss if I didn't say. Until next time.